All right, guys, coming at you right after this wonderful Thanksgiving weekend with another perfect and amazing pair of vintage Reebok sneakers. As you can see, my favorite kind of box from um, early to mid 90s. And this one is the, the D Factor to low black, gold, and purple size 9 again this is a second pair of that same model i have if you guys follow my channel you've probably seen the first one i got i think a year or something ago but i saw this one again on ebay um great condition uh, had to grab it i mean i love this shoe so much it's part of the above the rim from back in the day as you can see 1993 i think this model came out early 94 and carries some of the features that uh, my very very first uh, brand new uh, Reebok basketball shoe I bought was the uh, above the rim Spectre SD where SD standard for strap it was a mid cut shoe I've, I've shown a picture of that one in my previous video if you want to see how it looks it had a great strap across the top of it uh, which was uh, one of my uh, still one of my probably favorites because it was my first one to be honest with you uh, and let me pull those out real quick and move the box at the back hopefully it's not gonna fall like every time and talk to you about these so again this is another pair uh, that I already have in my collection in eight and a half but I absolutely love this one I mean I gotta tell you this midsole outsole was exactly the same on my Spectre uh, shoe and I loved it so much because of these colors this purple and kind of gold and black was amazing combination Reebok right here on the medial side of the outsole and the old school above the rim logo kind of like towards the back of the and the uh, kind of a lateral side and we have this interesting shape cut for the um, hexalite which is very nice and and uh, responsive super clear and this arch indentation um, was really uh, nice back in the day so the midsole is uh, kind of a a little bit of a denser uh, poly light it's not a polyurethane it's not gonna crack or crumble or anything like that which is excellent uh, I absolutely love it I love this whole concept uh, between 92 and 95 I think Reebok incorporated this where really it's kind of a let me see if I can explain it kind of a graduate um, progression from the forefoot to the back as you can see lower um, midsole and the front kind of a going up to a higher uh, meaning the uh, distance between your foot and the ground is a lot lower in the front where in the hill is a little bit higher uh, more catered towards you know quicker players so to speak and then in the hill you have a lot of cushion a lot of comfort here added uh, by the hexalite and the midsole as well and this jump notch over here in the front where the stitching is on the toe guard uh, is extending above the actual midsole it's not all one thing uh, but it's kind of a differentiating so I think this is this is my favorite look and setup in a lot of sneakers that I've, I've I've shown you guys that are vintage in my collection vector logo uh, unfortunately this particular colorway uh, is entirely constructed by synthetic new book so as you can see the synthetic new book over time when it gets dry it starts to crack it starts to crumble and kind of fade and fall apart so these are not wearable, um, at least <laughs> if anybody plans to wear them for a long time. I'm definitely not because they're going to uh, crumble completely and start peeling. But uh, they're definitely a great display um, shoe. I got them very low, just like all the other ones I'm trying to hunt down on, on the internets. Uh, love the stitching on the back where Reebok is. Uh, very clean very classic shoe in my mind very clean toe box absolutely love this above the rim logo it's my all-time favorite uh, old school logo I think it's the coolest and the best basketball logo ever created in my humble opinion uh, very thick and padded um, thong and let me 
show you the label so size 9 like I said made in Thailand um, still has the paper inside let me and it's factory laced of course like uh, you know majority of my uh, vintage pairs let me pull the paper and really show you the insole so um, majority of the shoe actually looks exactly the same like my Spectre ST uh, including the uh, inner liner being purple the um, uh, insole being purple fortunately the insole is glued in so I can't really pull it out but it's very thick polyurethane I don't know if I can kind of pull just a little bit here so you can see see this is the thickness of the polyurethane insole very nice and thick above the rim logo with Reebok on the hill again amazing very good padded in the hill these were super comfortable you know my pair was mid and this is a low uh, but uh, the mid was not that much higher it's about you know right here half an inch or whatever um, and this I mean this outsole was so nice I remember uh, buying them and first day going to school people were like hey man this is you know, let me see your outsole and I was like uh, always showing them up and everybody was like these are super dope uh, everybody loved that pair <laughs> I loved it so much. And, uh, actually, a friend of mine bought it for me, used, um, you know, further down the line. He loved it so much, and they were out of stock from anywhere. So I wanted to buy another. So we kind of, you know, he he bought that one for me, and I, I added some money, and I I grabbed that new pair I wanted. Uh, but here's the box coming down. Don't fall down. Hold down. Uh, again, this is the uh, tags that came with uh, the newer style above the rim uh, tag, kind of hang tag, keychain with transparent and with a basketball man, and then Reebok uh, kind of written down in transparent letters, and it has ele elevate and decide in the air, made in Thailand, and we have our regular hexalite. Uh, tag this one is printed in 90, uh, 1990 not printed but um, trademarked from there and uh, yeah <laughs> again I'm super happy to, to to come buy these again on the on eBay you know I had another pair to my collection I wish they were the white pair because they were leather and I can wear them and really enjoy these and uh, one thing that's really here it's uh, just like the you know, the original one came on my pair, I remember. The non-marking outsole was on a sticker instead of written down somewhere on the actual outsole, like majority of the shoes at the time. But, again, look at this Hexalite. So nice and clear. Perfect. Just like it came yesterday. I mean, this, these are... Um, look at the detail on the actual outsole. In my mind, this is, this is amazing. Very, very well textured. They're very sticky, all that herringbone in the front. I remember even balling in these in high school, and they were awesome. Um, surprisingly light for the time, and being a basketball shoe again, um, love this outsole. You know, just the whole upper shoe is just very settled and classic, clean with, you know, all black uh, upper, and just those hints with the purple and the gold. Um, in my opinion, this, this shoe is... Uh, Kind of uh, having a special, special part in my, in my heart, and you know, my love for Reebok because of the shared so many similarities with my very first basketball, brand new basketball shoe that I bought. I'm saying brand new because I bought some used from France before that, like the D time. I think it was my first pump basketball shoe I bought, but it was used, and the Atstrek was actually my first running um, Reebok shoe. But again, look at this uh, all upper. It's you know cracking because of that synthetic new book so these look great when you have them in a case somewhere as a display but um, definitely not gonna attempt to wear them at all um, but again perfect uh, perfect shoe for my collection in my mind I, I absolutely love it it's my favorite time you know 1992 three four five it's when I was in high school and I knew every single model I came that came out at that time, so uh, that's about it. Enough of me rambling, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Stay tuned to the channel, uh, and very soon there will be a lot more coming. I have uh, another perfect pair for you guys to show you. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Stay tuned to CollectiveKicks.com. Until next time, guys. Have a